It's been a while since Joey's been in here. I think I'm starting to miss him. He's been banned for weeks now, and over on Twitter and in real life, I've been seeing him act up more than usual. I'll bring back Joe. Wait, what? Huh? Yeah, if you guys want Joe back, I'll text him to join back. Yeah, you're definitely tweaking and lying. I can smell it. No shot, Donnie is being nice for once. I'll prove it to you both. I'm texting him as we speak. Sure, but I'll have to see it to believe. Holy crap, you joined fast! I couldn't miss my opportunity to have you on my podcast. Are we finally doing it? Hey, don't forget about me, Joe. Who the hell is that? Oh, I thought you knew since you listened to my podcast. It's my errand boy, Jamie. Ooh, look oh, who's back! There. He does whatever I ask him to do. Shut up, Joe. I don't get paid enough for this shit. Wow, so you lied. This is the wrong Joe. We were talking about Joe Biden, not Joe Rogan. Hey, what's wrong with Joe Rogan? You are Joe Rogan, you idiot. Oh, yeah. You're right. Dumbass. Can we please unban Joey? I think I'm going to side with George on this one. I kind of miss him, too. You guys seriously want him back? You do realize how much he's been embarrassing himself lately, and you want to be around him? Yeah, Jamie has been showing me pretty wild clips on Twitter lately from Joe. Uh, I remember the last time I was here was when Joseph literally fell on stage. <laughs> this is embarrassing. Come on, guys, please stop bullying me. Who could think things could possibly get worse? I thought that was as worse as it can get, but clips like this one, where he seems to wander off to nowhere. Hey, Jamie, can you show the clip? Whatever, Joe. Again. <gasps> What the hell, Jamie? Ha ha, you idiot. Play the damn clip before I fire you, Jamie. Now! Chill, Joe. It was a joke. Damn, Donnie. I think you really messed up, Joey. Nah, he's fine. It's just another usual day for him. This was even in the New York Post. Biden embarrasses U.S. with confused wanderings at World Conference. Like, what is wrong with Joe? Man, I gotta admit, the other night ago, he froze on stage on live TV, and I had to drag his demented ass off the stage. Oh, yeah. I saw that clip on TikTok last night. Hey, Jamie? What? Can you pull up that clip? Here's the, the clip you asked for. Just come to make sure your baby's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you dickhead, I'm lowering your hourly pay to 50 cents an hour. Does it sound like I care? Just play the stupid clip, Jamie. Here you go, Baldy. You said what, Jamie? Listen, asshole, I sucked 100 dicks <laughs> for you. I knew exactly what I was doing. I was trying to make you feel better, you fucking loser. Hell, what the hell, Jamie? Listen to me now or else I'll send someone to kidnap your family. Holy shit, Joe. It's a joke. Chill the fuck out. Here you go, you bald cry baby boy. People say that all these clips of him are deep fakes. What if they are? Are you an idiot, Towers? That's literally him. Yeah, I hate to break it to you, but so many journalists and news outlets were trying to cover up that he actually did freeze up. It only gets worse from here. Not only he, he freezes up like a fish in a microwave, but he stutters like a YouTube video buffering. Hey, Jamie, pull up that one clip and you better not fuck up this time. The last time I'm ever pulling up a clip for you, I'm gonna book a flight to Zimbabwe after this. She no knows, she knows so long as she was denied. Our freedom can never be secured. Wow, and that's who people praise. A pile of rocks is smarter than him. Damn, bro. I honestly don't think he can make it before the end of this decade. All right, that's enough. I'm unbanning Joey. If you do that, I'm going to destroy your... The Joe is back and better than ever, boys. How did you join so fast? Oh, hey, other Joe. Hey, better Joe. Watch it, Jamie. Welcome back, Joey. I missed you, Joey. I missed you all so much, too. I never said I missed you, loser. I don't care what mean things you have to say or do to me anymore. I've had enough. <sighs> past few weeks have been the hardest ever in my life because my best friends left me. Holy crap, you guys are terrible friends. Joe sounds like he's gonna cry. Look who's talking. Uh, who's that talking? I don't see another person in here. Oh, Jamie. Yeah, he's my ex errand boy now because he's fired. Oh, finally. Thank you for firing me. You'll never find another Jamie like me again. I'm off to Zimbabwe now, bitch. Later, Baldy. You and Jamie really need to be nice to each other, or you'll lose a good friend, just like how we lost Joey for a month. Yeah, well, this isn't the first time Jamie's been throwing one of his fits. Anyways, are we gonna keep yapping about nothing or start a tier list? Oh yeah, I watched the last two you guys did after you banned me. I'll make sure Donnie doesn't ban you again, bro, but this is part four and conclusion of our Little Debbie Snacks series. Check out our entire Little Debbie Snacks tier list compilation in the description, because there's so many Debbie Snacks. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to be back and make another tier list. Oh. Crap! This was a terrible time to bring Joseph back since we're going to rank Little Debbie ice cream. Ice cream! Yay! Little Debbie has ice cream? What the hell? Since when? Ever since you went bald. Oh! You're not funny, you spray tanned idiot. First up to rank, we got apple fruit pie ice cream. You know, this ice cream flavor, along with many of the Little Debbie ice creams, genuinely surprised me with how good they taste. Well, obviously, it's ice cream, so it's always going to be amazing. Of course you think that. I don't know about this flavor, guys. It looks real unhealthy to me. This isn't supposed to be healthy. It's comfort junk food. Which is why this is going in the good tier. Next up is you, subscribing since over 60% of you guys watching aren't subscribed. No, that's not an ice cream flavor. It's actually called birthday 
birthday cake. I wasn't being serious, you skinwalker. This tastes pretty similar to the actual birthday cake snacks, but it's a little too sweet for my liking. A little too sweet? Don't you mean all of these tubs of diabetes are way too sweet? Never! Don't disrespect my ice cream bald bitch. Dude, holy crap, Joe. Chill out, buddy. I don't need another Jamie 2.0 around here. No! Say something bad again about my ice cream and I'll have you buried in a glacier in Antarctica so you can turn into a bald flavored ice cream. Are you serious right now? What happened to you, man? You used to be a chill, down-to-earth dude in your 20s, but I'm thinking that Joe Biden died and has been replaced with like six different Biden clones. Dang, that was Joey in the 60s. No way, Joey actually looks normal. Joseph was actually handsome. I still am handsome, that is still me. Stop making up rumors about me, other Joe. Then tell me, other Joe, is it a rumor that your son has been convicted of three felony charges and faces up to 25 years in prison? Oh, you f You stupid little You shiny-headed And you look like a and smell like a dipped in a No way he just said that. Oh my gosh, is that legal to say? That definitely was illegal to say. I only heard it once before. Well, I'll be damned. I'm gonna save that clip and go viral on Twitter thanks to you. Hey, Jamie, can you save that clip for me? Oh wait, Jamie just left to Zimbabwe and I fired him. Shit! You're really gonna use me for clout? How pathetic. I didn't know it could get more worse than your shiny, glowing, bald head. Now get the hell out of my VC. Whoa, whoa, chill out, old. What's gotten into you, Joseph? This isn't how you normally act. Seems like you don't know me, little bro. Sheesh, Joey, I think Joe Rogan was right. There are like six different versions of you, and this is one of them. Yeah, I miss the demented and brain-dead Joey. Whoa! Is that what you really think of me, George? Uh, I thought that's what everyone thinks about you. Well, I've had enough! This past month has been the worst in my life, and I'm done! Okay, okay, we hear you, Joey. Just take a chill pill and let's talk. Rank this ice cream. Oh! Oh! Ice cream! Yay! Huh? Is this lunatic bipolar? What the frick? I'm afraid I think he is bipolar. Gay polar bears. Did someone say bipolar bears? Yeah, never mind. This is our joke. Anyways, back to the birthday cake ice cream. This is going in the mid tier. Even though I like birthday cakes, it's way too sweet. Agreed. And next up is cosmic brownies ice cream. I don't understand why they call these brownies cosmic when there's nothing cosmic about them. I think it's the colors of the little candies that make it cosmic, or it may be that they're filled with pot. Pot brownie ice cream? That sounds like a crazy combo. Too bad I've been three months sober, gang. Really? That's good, Barry. I'm proud of you. Keep it up, bro. Thank you, George. It's not easy, but things have been getting better. Back to this ice cream. It has brownie bits and candy-coated chocolate pieces in it, and it tastes exactly like the Cosmic Brownies. I give props to Little Debbie for making an ice cream version of their famous Cosmic Brownies. This is definitely going in the God tier. Fudge Rounds ice cream is next, and this is just as good as the normal Fudge Rounds. Fudge, yes it is. Typically, all fudge ice cream is really good, so this is no different. Yeah, it's pretty hard to fudge up fudge-flavored ice cream. With this one, it's very fudgy and very gooey. Fudge and God tier, boys. Honey Buns ice cream is next up, and even though this looks really sweet and delicious, it's pretty disgusting. This tastes more like vanilla ice cream than actual honey buns. There are little tiny cinnamon bun bits in the ice cream itself, but it's not enough. I'm an ice cream expert when it comes to things like this, and you are right, George. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's not good either, so it's going in the mid-tier. Moving on, we got the Nutty Bars ice cream, and this one is not disappointing. Are you mad, mate? Anything Little Debbie brand is an utter disaster. If anything is a disaster, it's your gigantic bruise you currently have. I mean, I know you're taking the piss, but you're not wrong there, mate. Shit hurted worse than when I burnt my beef wellington. Oh yeah, that bruise is gnarly, bro. For real it is. I've never seen something like that before. Nah, it's photoshopped. No way that's real. Seriously, you geezer. The only thing photoshopped is your Lord Farquaad looking ass. Hey! Are you okay though, chef? How's your bruise recovering? I can barely walk, barely shower, barely eat, barely piss, and barely shit. So it's been blimey, mate. Ouch! I hope you get well soon, chef. Why don't you get a few tubs of little Debbie ice cream and put it on your bruise to make your owie go away? Are you an idiot sandwich? Sorry, I was just trying to help heal your boo-boo. That ain't gonna help you, dimwit. It'll only make matters worse since I have that pathetic excuse of ice cream in my presence. This flavor in specific ain't too bad, though. It tastes really close to the snack itself, so it's gonna go in the god tier. Same with the oatmeal creme pies. You can never go wrong with this one. Yeah, with the actual snack, not the ice cream. Stop lying, Donnie. This is a delightful and nostalgic beauty that I would marry if I could. Marrying food? Have you gone insane? And I thought you out of everyone would understand since you practically are married to food. There's a difference between a passion and marriage, you hobnocker. I don't want to put my willy inside of an oven or a pan of oil, do I, mate? Oh, uh, don't knock it till you try it. You freak! Yeah, we're gonna ignore you said that, Joe. Well, this ice cream is going in the go to tier, fellas, and next up is Star Crunch. You know, the packaging on these horrific ice creams look quite nice. 
but that's how they get you. They lure you in with misleading advertising to sell their heap of diabetic nonsense. It's ice cream, so it's worth it, especially if it's ice cream from my shoddy little Debbie. That's where you're wrong, mate. Little Debbie doesn't even make real ice cream. Their ice cream tastes like it's been recycled from other ice cream containers from the trash bin. Bro, Gordon, you're legit pushing it. Their ice cream literally gives you what it says. Yeah. You're making it seem like it's some awful and cheap tasting ice cream when almost all ice cream tastes the same. Well, technically speaking, that's where you're wrong, George. I'm the ice cream lord, and I can tell you from experience with literally speaking to the ice cream itself, and it talking back to me, that all ice cream does not taste the same. I think Donnie was right. You really do need to go to an insane asylum. See, when am I ever wrong? You're certainly wrong about this pathetic excuse for ice cream. Put this crap in awful tears. No, Gordon, you're never fair with any comfort food or dessert like this. Star Crunch ice cream is going in the goaded tier. Ooh, look what we got next, fellas. Strawberry shortcake roll ice cream. Damn, this looks Yummy! Why don't you just look at the packaging of this tub? I'm drooling already. Not gonna lie, that packaging and design really does make it seem like the best ice cream ever. You see what I mean? You Muppets are falling for this false corporate advertising. It will taste nothing like what you imagine. All right, this time I'm gonna agree with the chef. This crap tastes artificial as hell. No, it doesn't. It tastes exactly how you imagine. If you're a huge fan of strawberry ice cream, then yeah, this one's for you. I might go into a sugar coma if I eat the entire tub, but it's worth it. I hope you go into a coma in general so America doesn't have to deal with your mentally challenged malarkey shite. That's saying a lot coming from Gordon since he's British. I don't care what he says. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Yeah, funny thing is that you're a walking Minecraft skeleton, so it indeed will hurt you. Hey! Save some bickering for me, Gordon. I'm the one around here that's supposed to make fun of him, but let's put this ice cream in the good tier. The next tub of ice cream is Swiss rolls, which is similar to the last one, but it's chocolate. Please tell me why you'd want to eat Swiss rolls in the form of ice cream. This makes absolutely zero sense. It's the same reason why people would want to eat either strawberries or coffee in the form of ice cream. There you go. That's a valid reason that you can't argue over, Chef. Oh, whatever, mate. Uh, this one is pretty valid. It has the same aftertaste as the actual Swiss roll cakes, so I'm gonna put it in the goaded tier. Can we skip this next tub of ice cream? We already know who would freak out over this. A sparkling strawberry unicorn cake ice cream. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, piss off, mate. You're a senior citizen going bonkers over a fucking unicorn. Leave me alone, you crooked teeth, tea-drinking crumpet. I bet you 100 quid that you don't know what you're even saying. So what? My point still stands, Mr. Fish and Chips. I can't stand losing any more brain cells in this Discord server. I'm out. No way. He actually just left the server. See what you did, Joey? You made the chef leave our server. Good! Now all the insults to Joseph will be mine. So what? I don't care. Put this unicorn ice cream in God tier now. Hell no. This is going in the awful tier. One day you guys will understand. No, Joey. That's never going to happen, bro. But let's move on to Zebra Cakes ice cream. This is the final tub of Little Debbie ice cream because after this, there's ice cream bars. This ice cream has chocolate swirls, zebra cake pieces inside, and vanilla icing in it, making it taste very close to the zebra cakes themselves. And don't forget that they use actual zebras from Africa to make this ice cream flavor. Stop playing dumb, Joey. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if they used real zebras since they use parasites to make certain foods. That's true, you got a point. I told you, but hey, the zebras in this ice cream make it taste so much better. What the hell does zebra even taste like? Fried chicken. Really? Count me and homie. This is going in the good tier. No freaking way. <laughs> Yes, now let's rank strawberry shortcake rolls ice cream bars. Not gonna lie, these ice cream bars taste way better than the tub. That's true, the combo goes together perfectly. I admit, little Debbie outdone themselves with these ice cream bars. This is going in the goaded tier. Star Crunch ice cream bars are next, and this is caramel flavored ice cream with a caramel ribbon and crispy bits dipped in milk chocolate. Oh boy, this is like the most perfect ice cream bar. You got that right, this is going in the god tier. Not gonna lie, same thing with these Nutty Bars ice cream bars. This one has peanut butter ice cream with crunchy pieces dipped in crispy milk chocolate. This ice cream bar should be banned because of how good it is. Yet again, another god tier. And finally, the last one to rank is birthday cakes ice cream bars. Yeah, this is the weakest one out of all the ice cream bars we've ranked. It tastes exactly like birthday cakes, but it's not a celebration to eat. It's not a celebration unless it's on your birthday. No, this one's lame as hell and going in the mid-tier. And there we have it, every Little Debbie ice cream rank. Be sure to check out our Little Debbie compilation in the description so you can see all four Little Debbie videos videos in one. Now it's time for member shout outs. Shout out to Adrian Keen, Basilisk, Cosmic Ferret, President's Discord fan, Leighton Hatch, Joshua Jackson, Donald the Big Mac Crusader, Yaha with the Vibe, 24-7, Rugrats Fan 08, Countess of the Dark 2931, Regular Degular Jolchen 1864, Arpentidos I Convertidos, Alastor the Radio Demon, Alex Bradbury, Iceman 42, 
Alex Avando, Lisa Baker, Wes Calloway, Randy Shannon, Gil the Metalhead, and Jeff Keyes for being our dope channel members. More shout outs to Arnold Torres, Matthew Williams, Money Dynamic Matanya, Tech Destroyer, Latura Coleman, Jacob Randall, Ray the Awesome Dude, Andrew Jones, Blake DeWombat, Donald Trump, Gabe Dudas Two, Alpha Diamond, Albert Moore, Nostalgia Network, Bear Dozer, Will Zoller, The Roman Empire, Makoto 13, T06, and your average Dragon Ball Z fan for becoming our terrific channel members, Zero. Even more shout outs to Camden, Maximilian Plays, Zarka, Hunter Thompson, The Mo Mechanic, Darth Vader vs. Luke Skywalker, Skoxba, Quickscope Cooper, Animations Guy, Winter, SRF, Brandon Ayala, Ampersandler, Omnilude, Dominic Camise, and Dragon Ball D for becoming our non-demented channel members. And finally, huge shout outs to V. Ricochet, Mevins 2001, Fabian Moans, Jordan Arness, the Gilder 7111, Media Fan 50, and Spectre for being our tremendous channel members. Have a blessed day, and may Jesus Christ find you, guide you, love you, and be in your life for your salvation.